let's have a look at part B now. Show that the base salary A that the firm will offer uh, is always decreasing with the bonus. Now, what does that mean? It means that if we offer a higher bonus, we, we should decrease the base salary. And that this should make sense because the utility depends on both. So if one goes up, the other one can go down. Now, let's see how that works out and prove it with numbers. Uh, meaning that we need to find out the base salary and that base salary has to be fixed to just make the worker willing to work for this company meaning we have to compare the utility at this company with the alternative so that the utility here must be equal to the alternative at least it should be at least v meaning v or greater but just for the sake of the you know of the math we'll just solve it when they are equal now what's the utility we have the utility function over here and uh, let's substitute that what's the wage a plus b times the quantity right and the quantity is also beta times z e, meaning we'll we'll do all this all this substitution right away a plus b times beta times the effort level and we calculated the effort level in the previous video the effort level is b times beta divided by theta so we're going to write it over here b times beta divided by theta let me just highlight that this is the effort level so we know what we're doing this is the effort level now minus the cost minus the cost of effort which is minus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 times theta times the effort level to the power of 2 which is going to be again b times beta over theta to the power of 2 b times beta over theta to the power of 2 so when we raise everything to the power of 2 we have every term to the power of 2 all of this must be equal to the alternative utility of v so this is equal to v now that said we can make some simplifications over here so let's do so we will cancel out one theta with one theta from here so we will have a plus b times actually hold on b times b is going to be b square beta times beta is going to be beta square divided by theta and now on the other side what do we have in the in the next term minus one over two so one over two times b square beta square b square beta square divided by theta only because one theta with the other theta cancels out and this must equal to the alternative utility of v now before we move on what we can see here is that we have a subtraction of the same term b square beta square divided by theta with the coefficient of one and here we have minus a half of it right one minus a half is just going to be a half so we could write this alternative utility as a plus a plus a half times b square beta square divided by theta equals to v so this is going to equal to v and now we want to calculate just a meaning we'll take this other term to the other side so this one will go to the right side with a negative sign we will have v minus it right we will have v minus the following so a equals to v minus 1 over 2 times b square beta square divided by theta now let's see the math behind it what can we see um, if b goes up right keeping everything constant if b goes up and it has a negative coefficient in front of it that means that this term will decrease right we're subtracting from v a higher number so the result is going to become lower so indeed when b goes up the base salary goes down hope this makes intuitive sense the math proved it we're done here next video part c